Hello and welcome to this video lesson. My name is Teacher Daphne and today we're going to look at biology and specifically soil. Soil. Is this a new term? Maybe not. Because it's where we stand, it's where we walk, it's where we raise buildings. So we're now going to look at it in a biological perspective. To define it, soil is, is, is the top of the earth's surface on which plants grow, anchored, uh, obtain their mineral source, obtain their requirements for life, and other organisms live. So, today we're going to look at the components of soil. Components of soil. So by the end of the lesson, I hope you'll be able to mention the components of soil and their importance uh, to the life of organisms, other organisms, the components of soil. We shall look at soil formation. We shall look at soil profile. And we shall also look at the components of topsoil. Shall know what topsoil is. So we shall begin with the components of soil. If you if if you just get any handful of soil from anywhere, the soil you can find anywhere, what are the most likely things you're going to find in it? So, we are now going to look at the components of soil. Components of soil. Let's start by listing all of them and then after that we shall talk more about them. So, the first one is water. Soil is composed of water. Soil is composed of mineral salt. Mineral salt. What are mineral salts? We need to find out. Soil is composed of air. It's composed of air. Soil also has Humus. It also has living organisms. And lastly, soil has inorganic particles. Inorganic particles. Okay. So those are the major components of soil that we are going to look at. Let's start to look at them one by one. Starting with living organisms. Why living organisms? Because I'm one. So, soil is made up of living organisms. have life. We can categorize them in two ways. The first one being microorganisms. Microorganisms. And the other ones being macro organisms. Okay. Microorganisms are those organisms that are too small for us to see 
with our naked eyes they are microscopic organisms okay so This include bacteria, fungi, among others. If I have a handful of soil, I'll not be able to see bacteria and fungi, but in fact, they are in, they are part of the soil. Because they are too small for me to see with my naked eye. These are very important components of soil since they since they number one bring about decay. Plant dies if an animal dies. Can you imagine have you seen cats or dogs? being knocked down by, by cars, speeding cars. Now imagine, count 10 years back, till now, if all those didn't decay, would have heaps of dead organisms on the earth's surface, thanks to the microorganisms in soil that bring about the decomposition, the breakdown of those, or of those dead matter so as to recycle materials back to to other organisms to say if if maybe a dog has been killed and it dies it's going to start decaying so the parts that make it up are going to enter into soil they're going to be used up by a plant to make food which you and I will eat and maybe someday if we die and we're not buried shall give more nutrients to plants so they make more food which more animals will eat and that is brought by uh, that is brought about that is made possible by these amazing microorganisms that are found within within our soil another importance of these organisms is that they take part, for example, the nitrogen fixing bacteria. What do we mean? We mean that uh, plants need as much nitrogen as possible for their own life it's one of the most essential components and nitrogen makes up to over 70 percent of the air of the atmospheric air so these bacteria may convert that nitrogen into nitrates which can be used up by the plant to make proteins you know to make what it needs for life which we in turn eat maybe not myself Maybe a goat out there or a buffalo out there. The importance of these microorganisms, some of them is that they fix nitrogen in soil, making it usable by the plant. So, but they, they themselves, when they die, they form a little humus that allow that the plants can use also. Okay, so that is all about the microorganisms. Now we're going to talk about the macros what is macros bigger